Snow angels and snowball fights are just some of the ways to have fun in the winter weather, but some kids could only dream about that until today. It's been on my bucket list. Sarah Molina brings us the story from Canal Fulton. To some, this may not look like much, but to others, this adaptable sled is a dream come true. The folks you're about to meet have been waiting more than 20 years for something like this. And it was all made possible through a very special friendship. At 37 years young, one, two, three, Patrick O'Brien waited nearly his lifetime for this moment. It always looked fun oh, yeah. when I used to see my brothers and friends out sled riding, and I was unable to. But he told me today, sledding? All right, homeboy, you ready? Give yeah. me some. It was well worth the wait. It feels like I have wings. Patrick. <laughs> Amy. We went fast, so it was a lot of fun. Two, one. Woo! Jenny. I was really excited when I found out that they made a sled for the two sled on chairs. They didn't think this was possible. All right. But Echoing Connections, an organization that helps and provides opportunities for people with disabilities, has some pretty special friends in their neighbors, the Canal Fulton Police and Fire Departments. And when those friends heard about these dreams, they were like, well, let's see if we can do some. An adaptable sled, like this red rocket, runs about $800, but it didn't take long. The police and fire department are connected. We have a really tight group on both sides, and the word spread like in hours. Uh, we had the money. Patrick, yeah. you ready to go? Yeah, oh yeah. The first day they brought it down to the workshop, I'm like, get me out of my chair and put me in, put me on the sled. Awesome. An unforgettable gift and more than memories made along the way. We have some lifelong friends with the police and fire department. A lifelong friendship built and a brand new yearly tradition that's keeping just about everybody out here a little warmer in this cold. Reporting in Canal Fulton, I'm Tara Molina, News 5.